I am inside of a Jupyter notebook, and in this notebook, I am loading the medium English spacey model. This is saved into a variable called NLP, and this Python object represents a sequence of steps that can parse all sorts of useful information uh, from a string of text. Now to visualize this, I am using the displaycy submodule. And in this first graphic over here, you can see that we are able to parse out parts of speech as well as uh, these dependencies between words. But we can also use displaycy to display named entities that are found. And we can confirm that in this case, uh, when I pass the sentence, my name is Vincent, that this NLP object is able to recognize that Vincent in this sentence is a reference to a person. Having all this parsed information is very useful. Uh, and what we can also do is uh, measure how long it might take to have a long list of texts uh, go through this NLP model. Uh, and in this very basic benchmark, we can see that if we have this long list of texts, uh, that it takes about 12 seconds. Now you might be interested in speeding this up a little bit. And one way of doing that is by disabling a couple of parts in a spacey pipeline. For example, if you're really only just interested in getting these named entities out, then you might not need all the information shown here. You might not really care about the parts of speech or about the grammatical dependencies. What we could do is we could say, hey, in this pipeline that we're loading, let's disable a couple of parts. So I could turn off the tagger, which is the component that does the parts of speech. And I can also disable the parser, which handles all of these dependencies. We should be aware that because we've disabled these components, we should see that reflected in this chart when I rerun it. And indeed, we don't see the parts of speech anymore, nor those dependencies. But I am still able to get the named entities out. Vincent is still being detected. And this should be a bit faster now. Instead of 12, we now seem to take about 10 seconds. Now, I could speed this up further by also removing the named entity recognition part of the pipeline. This does mean, however, that we are no longer going to be able to detect named entities. And indeed, Vincent is no longer detected as a person. But we should see that the pipeline runs even faster now. Now, we are down to only six seconds. So that's a pretty significant speed up. If you want to learn more about components inside of a spacey pipeline, you can go to the usage section and then to the processing pipeline section of the spacey documentation. And here you'll be able to learn more about the different parts of a pipeline, which might help you understand which ones you can turn off. In general, I do recommend you to be just a little bit mindful because you don't want to turn off components in your pipeline that you're going to be using later. But in general, you can get a pretty decent speed up simply by turning off the parts that you don't need.